This is not financial advice. This is not legal advice for entertainment and educational purposes only. And everything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get the videos, I put them out, see what I'm thinking, see how I'm analyzing the data. But like I tell y'all every day, the data they release us is false. It meant to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. And the other thing is, they like to mess with us psychologically. And based on everything I'm seeing on Twitter, I'm seeing in stock tweets, I'm seeing on YouTube, there's a lot of people who are, what's the word I'm looking for? Mentally exhausted. I think that's the best way to put it. They're mentally exhausted about this play. And some of them want to want to throw in the towel. And here's the thing. I know a majority of these are the shells and the bots that they put out there to mess with us psychologically. But I'm sure there's a few apes that are really mentally exhausted from this play because we've been in it for over 18 months now since January of last year. So we're talking probably 20, 21 months for, for some of the apes. And, and some people have been in it since November of 2020. So this has really been a long play. And I understand how you can be mentally exhausted, especially with all the games that that the hedgies play. And the fact that the SEC is not doing their job, the fact that the DTCC stays silent to the corruption, and the thing is that we all see the overwhelming evidence of fraud with all the dog pool volume, 70% of the dog pool, all the fear to the livers, millions and millions of fear to the livers. So the evidence of the fraud, the corruption, the criminal activity is there. And then we think we live in the United States of America. We're a, a country of laws. So a lot of us assume that once the SEC, once our regulatory agencies see that the law is being broken, they would step in and do their job. And what we've learned over the last 18 months is the SEC don't care about retail investors. The SEC don't care if those guys violate the law. And the SEC acts like a co-conspirator to these bad actors because Every time they catch them doing something wrong, the fine that they give them is so small that it actually emboldens them. It encourages the bad behavior. And now I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell, but I'm going to tell you this. I'm holding everything that I've read, everything that I've seen, all the deed out that I've done tells me that the MOAS is imminent. We're knocking on the door and, and anybody who's mentally exhausted, who's frustrated with the play, I mean, do your own DD. I'm not telling you to buy, hold or sell, but I'm telling you that I'm in this play to the end. It's either Lamborghini or ramen noodles for me. And, 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 and the bottom line is this. I understand you being mentally exhausted. I understand we've been in this play a long time, but I'm asking you guys, Let's all stay motivated. Let's all keep our head up. And, and and let's look at the big picture. And it's not just about AMC and GME. It's not just about the MEM stocks. What we're doing here is about the future of our country. This is about the for our children and our grandchildren. Because what they're doing is absolutely outrageous. And the system has to be broken down and rebuilt. Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. And if you have any, any comments, please, please, if you're feeling exhausted, if you feel like you want to get out of the play, please leave some comments and let me know what you think. Anyway, have a great day. God bless, and I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.